Hey guys, uh, I decided I did a first day of fall semester vlog, so I should do a last day of fall semester vlog, because this is my last day. But first I have this new breakfast I really, really want to show you guys. It's not like amazing, but it's good. So this is all you need. You need the Ezekiel cereal, granola, whatever, some blueberries, and unsweetened vanilla almond milk. That's all you need. And I take a bowl. I use this as a cereal. Even though it's kind of like a grain crunch, they're kind of like grape nuts, I use it as a cereal because it's kind of crunchy and kind of good. So it looks like that. It's, it's like flakes, not even like granola, you know? And then you take your blueberries like that. A lot of blueberries. Because your blueberries are the sweetness. There's no other sweetness to it because the almond milk isn't sweet, the cereal isn't sweet. So basically just your blueberries. And it's not like a super sweet, like, oh my God, best, best breakfast ever. But it like kind of, it's really good because of the crunch. Like if you're in the mood for something crunchy, it's really good. Just pour some, as much almond milk as you want it. So that's my breakfast. I just got a notification when my exam grades came in, which that's awesome. I wonder what I got. I'm really feeling like watching Sarah's day. A good morning dose of Sarah's day, like her old videos, like before she was even pregnant with Fox. I got a tree. It's a little, I mean, it's not. Mm. She's different than all the others. She's the biggest tree we've ever, we've ever had, but she's, you know, the, uh, we love her anyways. We did multicolor lights because all our white lights are in the, on the bushes in the front of the house. But yeah, she's all right. She's cute. I like her. I'm feeling like dressing up a little bit, like not dressing up, dressing up, but a little more than like sweatpants, you know? So, and maybe like some mascara if I'm feeling fancy. Well, this is the outfit I'm wearing. I think this is a snow jacket. I don't know, I've never lived up north. I wore it skiing, so I'm wearing this, with my jeans and some Converse. You might think I'm a little dramatic, but it is 30 degrees outside and I get cold very easily. But this is it. Now I'm all dressed and we're going to the town center to get myself some sneakers, some running shoes, and we're also going to get a um, little birthday present, a Starbucks gift card for one of our favorite guards, like at a guard gate. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, okay, great. We're on our way to the town center. We finally made it out the house. Seven minutes late. Oh, this is one minute fast this cloth. Okay, six minutes late. And Anyways, we're going to get my running shoes and we're going to get a Starbucks gift card for a birthday present. Oh yes, And I maybe, would you get me a chestnut praline latte? Sure. Or my high knee too. I see yours is on. Who has control over your seat heater? <laughs> you, right? Okay, well my mom yesterday decided she was too warm in her seat heater, so she turned hers off and mine off. Though I was perfectly comfortable, and she goes, well, I had a feeling I was, I was warm, so like you would be fine too. And I was like, no, whoever's seat heater it is controls their own seat heater, you know? So you're saying you decide when you need it. I when decide when I turn it on, I decide when I turn it off. So like, not to be rude or anything, but don't touch my seat heater, right? Mothers have infinite wisdom. The sun. I got my shoes, and I tried on Brooks, I tried on Nike, I tried on more Brooks, more Nike, and I ended up going with Brooks. Let me show you what they look like. I usually like more white shoes or black, and they did have all black, but they look kind of like um, work shoes, I guess, like bulky work shoes. So I ended up getting the white with some blue on the side and the red. I think they're like cute. They're not my favorite shoes I've ever bought, but they feel good. They're the support kind of Brooks, and I tried on the more neutral kind, and they were just like too thin. They didn't feel like supportive at all, which they probably were because they're Brooks, but Okay, anyways, what I was saying is I'm gonna try my shoes today on a run, so let you know how they are. Also, as I'm looking at myself, um, yes, I have a scratch right here and I have one right here. It's for my dog. I asked him if he wanted to go outside and I was laying in my bed and he like was like went like that to my face. And yeah, I had a scratch right there and I had one and it went all the way down right there and right there. But it's slowly but surely healing. So yeah, that's what happened. Those are my battle wounds. Then we're on our way to Starbucks now to get the gift card and a chestnut praline latte. They are at Starbucks.
I got a small or tall decaf praline latte and my mom got the cranberry orange scone. We're gonna try it together and we'll give you a taste test. Okay, we're trying the cranberry orange scone. This is what it looks like. Ooh, it's thick. So the sun isn't in the way. It's thick. Okay, here, I'll let you do the honors of you cutting it in half. Breaking it in half. Or do you want more than a half since it's yours? Mm -mm. No. No? Mm -mm. Well, fancy. Okay, grab yours. Mm. That's awesome. That's just as good as their pumpkin bread. Yeah, I like how this tastes more like a bread. It's um, softer than say a scone we get at Publix. Yeah, and I like how it's, it's not super sweet. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's what is. I like about scones. Mmm. Delightful. That is delightful. So we've tried the pumpkin, pumpkin bread. That was really good. I knew that was good from last year. We tried the cranberry bliss bar. I thought it was good. It's very, very sweet. Like, it's very decadent. My mom didn't like it as much. You were like, meh, whatever. This, I would say, is just as good as the pumpkin bread. This is, like, really good. Maybe a little bit better. I mm -hmm. honestly maybe look, like it a little bit better. I I don't know if I remember the pumpkin bread now. This is very hmm. good. If you don't remember it, it obviously wasn't as good. And the chestnut braille latte, I can already tell you it's really good. I've had this for many years. This is the only warm drink I like from Starbucks, really. Really? I haven't really tried many others, but... I know I'd like this. So this is our taste test. I'm back at home and I'm all changed into my comfy North Face jacket, but I'm currently doing some of my real estate course and I'm laying on my handy dandy bed that my mom wants to take away. And I'm just here smelling the Christmas tree. It's a good vibe. It's 11.15, so it's an hour and 45 minutes until my test. So I'm just doing some real estate right now, and then I'm gonna study for my test like maybe like 30, 45 minutes before. Oh, I also wanted to eat a little bit of lunch before also. It's lunchtime, it's 12.20, and I'm taking my exam in 40 minutes. So I usually eat lunch with my mom, but I don't wanna be starving during my exam, and I wanna run right after. So I'm cutting my roll. I have a turkey burger right here from a couple nights ago. So I have my turkey burger, bam, barbecue sauce on it. Turkey burger and corn. That's my little lunch. I'm done eating lunch now and I'm sitting on the couch watching some Sarah's Day because it's that's just a vibe right now. But how am I supposed to move when I have my whole squad on me like that? Like that's so adorable, I... I just have to skip my exam. There's an even worse issue. I just got a little cuter. Now they're both laying on me. Oh. Bye, guys. Next time you see me, I will officially be an AA degree graduate. I will officially, officially have 60 credit hours. Thank you. Thank you. This is it. I know I'm making like a really big deal out of my exam, but I have finished all three of my other classes and I've just been hanging on for this one exam that's taken so long to take. So it's finally here. I'm finally, finally taking the exam and I can finish the semester and have a whole month off. The last time I had a whole month off was this time last year. Like I got two weeks off for summer and that was it. So four weeks. Chef's kiss. I'm so excited. I'm getting ready to take my exam and I'll be done. Done, done, done. It's officially winter vacation. That took me an hour and 20 minutes. Accounting will not be missed whatsoever. I can't believe I have running shoes. Like, I just can't believe it. Like, I'm actually a runner. I spend money on running shoes. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little stretching because I was talking to Skylar's mom and she said like you have to do that so I'm gonna start stretching I mean I'm two and a half two two and a half weeks in I might as well start stretching you know
I thought I should give you guys an update. So, they're going pretty good. I mean, it's more cushioned, but I don't notice a ton of a difference. Like, easiness, hardness wise, but I'll update you. I didn't give you guys much updates on my run because, uh, if I'm being honest, it wasn't going that great. Let me tell you how I did. So I ran 1.7 miles in 23 minutes and 57 seconds at a pace of 14 minutes and 4 seconds. So my first half mile was at a pace of 13 minutes and 6 seconds. My second half mile was at a pace of 17 minutes and 5 seconds. My third half mile was at a pace of 12 minutes and 42 seconds. And then the rest of my run I ran at pace of 13 minutes and 49 seconds. I was my pink heart rate zone for 21 minutes, my cardio zone for 6 minutes, my fat burn zone for 1 minute. I had an average heart rate of 168 beats per minute, per minute, and I got up to 191 beats per minute, and I burned 344 calories. Um, okay, so I think I have a couple reasons as to why that is. One, I ate half a tiramisu thing from Publix yesterday, and I had s'mores. Overall, I didn't eat like the healthiest yesterday. Also, I ate the other half of my tar tiramisu dessert the day before that. So, like, just haven't been eating healthy the last two days. I also had a chestnut praline latte this morning, which wasn't, once again, the healthiest. I don't think it was terrible, but, like, a Starbucks drink is sugar anyways. So, I think, one, my food played a role in that. Two, I haven't drank as much water today that I probably should have. But I don't usually drink that great of water on other days that's my one thing I need to really like focus on and practice is drinking more water two this t-shirt right here it was too hot out for the t-shirt and like if like I'm uncomfy I can't like can't do things like if I'm uncomfy I like can't do schoolwork and stuff so I was just uncomfy and last time I wore this t-shirt it just like I wasn't comfortable this time I wore this t-shirt wasn't comfortable so like probably not gonna wear this again also three my shoes I don't think they're bad shoes like I think they're actually pretty good like I felt really like supportive like my joints I guess I felt good I think because they are different and a little more thicker on the bottom I'm just not used to them so I have to get like used to it in the and like how I feel running and stuff with them so I think that's why overall it wasn't a great run but I'll try again tomorrow. For the rest of the day, I'm just going to focus on, like, eating healthy and, like, getting my water because that was not fun. I got, like, halfway, and I was like, this is not, like, this is not the vibe. So I turned around. Also, these leggings, like, kind of suck. They were falling on me. Like, the whole entire time, I had to, like, keep picking them up. Say what you want about Lululemon and how expensive they are, but they are the best leggings, and they stay up, and they're comfortable, and... They're just not annoying at all. So that was fun. I'm gonna do a little stretch to cool down because once again, that's probably smart to do. And then I'm gonna take a shower and my mom wants to get rid of the mattress. She wants to bring the mattress back upstairs. I still have my mattress here. That was the guest mattress, but she's done with it, at least for the holiday season. So I mean, I give her what she wants. I just got out of the shower and um, I'm not feeling that like that too hot about my skin. Like these are, this is a pimple from like two weeks ago. This is a pimple from about a week ago. And they just still haven't gone away. So I'm like, it's probably because of all the sugar I've been drinking. So I got this in my FabFitFun. It's Rapid Collagen Infusion, the Murad. And I just washed my face. So I think I'm going to put some of this on. Let's try it out. Hopefully it doesn't break me out. So I think I'm going to try this. I don't know how much you're supposed to put on your hands. I think Skylar said this was really, really good. Oh, it feels nice. Oh dang, it spreads easily too.